Hey everybody, happy Wednesday, happy second Wednesday of 2020. It is definitely a blessing that we are here today, that we are able to commune with one another today. But I just wanted to come on to be an encouragement um, as we move into the new year swiftly um, with all of our goals in mind, um, all of our resolutions in mind to be reminded of the importance of being still um, because the word tells us in Psalms 46 and 10 I'm going to read it be still and know that I am God I will be exalted amongst the nations I will be exalted in the earth so I know that every time a new year comes around everybody begins to set goals um, talk about a direction in which they're moving and sometimes it sounds good because everyone is in the hype of the newness of a new decade, a new year. But sometimes it is important for us to be still and know that he is God. And I further <clears throat> was looking at another scripture that serves as a reminder um, not to get so caught up in the things of tomorrow, um, you know. And that comes from Matthew 6 and 34. And it says, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow has will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of, of its own. So sometimes I think we try to set so many goals and accomplish so many things in our timing. And sometimes our timing and our way of thinking does not align with that of God. So God calls us from a place of being anxious, um, of being um, impatient and he calls us sometimes to be still um, even in the rush of life in life that in all that life will bring and today I was listening to a song called Borderline by Solange Knowles um, that talks about just taking a break away from life it was called Borderline which is an ode to self-care and it just talked about how we commit ourselves each and every day to the worries and stresses of this world here. And we forget about taking time for ourselves and looking at it from that perspective as well as a spiritual perspective, the word of God calls us to take a step back, relax, breathe, be still, trust God, refuse to worry, refuse to stress, and to allow the Lord to guide your path. His thoughts are not our thoughts. His ways are not our ways. So something that we want, that we desire, is not specifically the will of God for our life. So we have to be mindful of that. We have to position ourselves, prepare ourselves, and really tune our ear in to what God is saying to us in this season so that we don't burn out, so that we don't worry, so that we don't stress and we are able to receive the goodness and the fullness of everything that God has to offer us even now in the days to come. So I want to encourage you all for the next three days to find yourself in a place of stillness, seeking the voice of God, toning out many things that serve as a distraction that tell you this is how things should be going um, or this is the goal that you should be accomplishing but truly submitting those thoughts those ideas those worries unto God and truly seeing what he has to say so that you could stay the course in the plans and promises God has for you. You don't want to be that person that's just building um, without counting the cost, right? So let's be mindful of what the Lord is saying versus our own personal desires and truly hearing from God today. So I love you guys. God bless. I'm praying for you guys. Um, it's about that time to submit yourselves unto God. Seek him, trust him, and know that he will give you the path that is set forth before you that's going to guide you and lead you down a road to peace, joy, and prosperity. So I love you guys. God bless. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via my email um, at simplycandismarie at gmail.com or candice at simplycandismarie.co or always here in the DM 
um, for any questions, any support, any prayers. I look forward to seeing you guys prosper in 2020. But first, learn to be still, refuse to worry, refuse to fret, put your focus on God and align your thoughts with his thoughts and his your plans with his plans for your life. You'll come out better that way. So I love you guys. Take a break and slow down, pump the brakes. Everything's gonna be okay. But you can't do it in your own strength. So I love you guys and be still and know that he is God. Love you guys. God bless.